Hello and welcome to Channel 97 News. I'm Martin Ramstone. And I'm Hannah Fett. Oh, Hannah, uh, you're back. Yeah, I took a week off last week because of the musical. Well, speaking of time off, recently, BRF High School has had some recent snow days. Here's the video. The snow days affected our schedule, whether it was in a good way or a bad way. Well, as far as I was able to tell yesterday when we were in, uh, there was some disputing uh, notions amongst our group. Uh, there was an administrator that did the numbers and then, you know, we might be okay. Uh, and another one did the numbers and it looks like we would have to make up at least, you know, a portion of a day if not an entire day. So we're in the process, I think, of checking with DPI, Department of Public Instruction, checking in hours and days and making sure that we have met requirements. Because of the snow days, most students have either had more B days or more A days. Um, well, I've had, let's see, a lot, seems like a lot of B days, um, which, I don't know, it's, it's a little rough, I guess. Um, I wasn't expecting a snow day on Monday, so I didn't bring home my B day homework, so that was kind of annoying to have to come in early to try to finish some of that before school started, but... It works out. Teachers have had to plan around us with more students having A days and more having B days. Some had to get creative. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's always a challenge that usually if that happens, um, what I'll do is tomorrow with my A day classes, I'll make sure I just cut back some of the lesson and make sure some of the essential information is covered in, in a little bit shorter format. So then I can start looking ahead to what I need to catch up on so we can kind of squeeze it all in one block. So you got to get creative that way. Um. Well, the snow days are really affecting our sports this year, you know, like uh, track and baseball. Mm hmm And speaking of baseball, baseball players have a new coach this year. Oh, wow. Sweet. Well, here's a video on that. Black River Falls Tigers got a new baseball coach this year. He was the JV coach last year. Many of the ball players already know him. I think Coach Donkey would be a very good coach. He has lots of experience. Having a new coach this year, there will be many changes made. Um, I think what I'm going to change the most is probably the um, involvement with uh, getting in, involved with in youth programs in our city, not only our city, but in the elementary schools as well. I really want the kids to get involved with, uh, with the younger group. Um, I also plan on changing uh, our intensity on and off the field. I want to pick up the pace. I want to be known as the fastest team in the state. Being a coach for the Black River Falls Tigers baseball team already, he'll be keeping many things the same. Um, our attendance policy will stay the same. I just want to keep that 100% commitment. Um, coach Dahlke has very high expectations for the team this year. I think we have a very um, bright future ahead of us this season. We have key returners. We lost a lot last year, but we have a lot of key returners, especially at the pitching, which is... Um, the area that we need to improve on the most, and I think that'll be that'll be key. Um, I do expect us to finish in the top half of the Cooley Conference. That is going to be our, our first goal. Um, once we accomplish that, then we'll, we'll shoot for winning the Cooley Conference. So, and I do believe that those are realistic goals this year. So, we'll playoff time, anything can happen. <coughs> Ooh, <coughs> Martin, are you okay? Uh, no, I haven't been feeling well lately. You sound a little sick. Yeah, I'm all right. You know right. who else was sick this week? Uh, My dog Gus was sick this week. I Here's the episode of Gus this I, week. I don't like Gus. Ah, my name is what? My name is Gus. My name is Big G. Ha, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Big G. So today, Gigi made me go play outside, <coughs> and it made me really sick. <laughs> Kiki's so mean. She always tries to get me sick so she can take over the show. Na 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 na. Now I get to run the show. Mwah. <laughs> oh, Gigi makes me so mad. I can't handle it. Today was just a terrible day. Today's such a great day. I can finally be on the show and talk by myself. Here's how I got him sick. <laughs> yes, let's go on an adventure. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it sounds fun, doesn't it? Well, we ended up staying out there for a few hours. Well, he did. Gigi, let me in. Gigi. Gigi. Oh my gosh, Gigi, let me in. Oh my gosh, it's so cold out. I can't hear you. I can't see you. Talk to the paw. Gigi, come on. I'm going to get so sick. Ooh. Yeah, after all this.
this, I realize this is too much work. I'm too cool. To be honest, Gigi really isn't too cool. I mean, only the cool dogs get their own talk show. I mean, look at me. I'm amazing, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gus is such a character, you know. He's a great character. Thank oh, you, Martin. He's such a character that, in fact, I will buy him for one million dollars. One million dollars? Yeah, so one, one million dollars. <laughs> Nathan and Jackie sitting over there looking at me. <laughs> this is Channel 97. I'm Martin Roundstone. And I'm Hannah Fenn. Yeah, and that's Nathan and Jackie. See ya! And AJ. And AJ. 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 One million dollars. <laughs> We're done. Holla.